Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're here on Reventuli Coast, and we're going to be doing a tree stand hunt. So over the last month or so, I've done two tree stand hunts here on the channel. The first was on Hirschfeld, and the second was on Silver Ridge Peaks. And then someone in the comments of one of those videos actually asked me to do one here on Reventuli Coast. It took me a little while to get to it, but here we are. So starting us off, we've actually got some white tail over there. I'm going to call these in with the electronic collar. They're about 140 to 200 meters out, so that'll be perfect. The distance for the electronic collar is 200 meters. So we'll go ahead and get one of these going. We'll do the deer bleat. And I think I actually saw some white tail just over here behind me as well. They were going just right behind the hill, and there's one right there. Level 2, 143 to 184. So since we're calling them in with the electronic collar, I don't want to spook all of them off. I'm going to get them with the Stenberg takedown recurve bow. So let's wait for these to get in a little bit closer here. Now those over there are both level 2s. That one's a 164 to 205, and then the one beside him, 177 to 218. We've got a caper Kaylee that is also coming in. This area has so many animals in it. So there's that one. He's giving us a pretty good shot there at about 50 to 70 meters. So I think we'll just get ready to take it down. Let's make sure we have the right arrows in, and we do. So we'll wait for him to stop walking there, and then we'll take whatever shot he decides to give us. So I'm going to go ahead and mark him about 40 meters out, 39 meters out. Let's take that shot and smoked him, dropped him on the spot there. There was actually quite a few males in that herd. We got another level 2, 119 to 160. This one is also a level 2, 143 to 184. So yeah, just kind of waiting for him to slow down. This other herd has gotten over here, so I guess we'll go ahead and take one of them. We'll go for that, and 5075, he's going to start dropping. This one is going to be just alerted, so we'll go for him. Not going to re really worry about their estimates or anything, like which ones are the biggest. We're just going to take as many as possible, and then that guy is also just going to step up and go be alert. We'll take him as well. Now, where did that Caper Kayla go? I didn't see that he was fleeing or anything. I would imagine he might have if he came close to us, though. Um, but that, that one's not even alerted. He's just calm, goes up to 205. But we got four of them here, which is insane. So we'll see if maybe they come back in. If they, no, there goes the Caper Kaylee. So he is indeed going to be fleeing. We have the 22. We can see if we can snipe him really quick. I mean, he's going to land, which will be perfect. Let's see. Let's, oh, he's going to be behind a hill. Never mind. I was going to say, if he lands right there, we'll be able to get him. But he dropped down, so he, we're not going to worry about him. Some Canada geese have landed in right here. We've got a level 3, 5 to 7, level 2 female, and then just a bunch of others that are coming in right now. So I guess we'll go for the male and then just kind of see what happens here. So let's take him. We'll go for the female. Some, and then try to get that one. And did we? Yeah. Or no, we didn't. It's just going to be landing again for some reason. So we'll go ahead and get her in the neck there. So we got three of them. The rest are going to get away. We can maybe see about getting this one, but we only have two shots left. I don't know what some of that shooting was. We just flat out missed, even though I thought I was aiming right there on them. That's just how it goes sometimes, though. But we got three. I forgot to show you exactly where I have this tree stand placed. So it's over here on the right-hand side of the map. I came from this outpost here, the Justin Lavu, and then put it right here in this tree and then put a tent beside it. That way we could get to it easier. But we have some more Canada geese that have landed in. So all of these are level 2 females. So we're going to see if we can get all three of them here. It's probably not going to happen with my shooting, but we'll have to wait and see. There's actually a fourth one. Yeah, they're all level 2 females. But let's just see what we can get here. So we'll get those two. She is going to be flying away from us. And yeah, I don't think I'm even going to attempt that just to save ammo. We got two of them. More than likely, they're going to come back in. I'm pretty sure it's the same group that was with those males that we took down. There's a little mountain hare, just a level 1 male, 2 to 3 for his estimates. Should we try to get him with the bow here? I went ahead and already switched to the 300 grain, and we're going to see if we can get him, as long as he stops in a good spot. If he doesn't, we'll just try and get him with the 22. It is pretty hard to see him right there. I'm hoping he stops right on that rock, though. That's about 54 meters out. And yeah, he is not wanting to stop right now. Let's go ahead and just spot him again. Yeah, there's a good chance we're going to go ahead and just use the 22 on him. Yeah, about 70 meters out. Yeah, let's just get the 22 out. Let's not chance a bow shot. And, yep, there he goes. He's down. Coming in now is a level 2 Caper Kaylee. I think this might be that same one that we spotted earlier that was fleeing. 3-4 to four for his estimates, and he is stopped right up there. You saw I just got his feed zone. But we'll go ahead and just take him with the 22. I'll put two shots into him so he goes down quicker. We've got a fleeing female mountain hare there. 
Level two, three or four for her estimates. So let's just go ahead and get her. And I just heard a moose giving off a warning call as well. Um, there it is back there. That's not what I want. I want, my, I want my binoculars. It pulled out the electronic collar for some reason. So we've got level one female, level one female. That other one is also a level one female. Are there any males in here? Um, I just got a spotting for something in there, but it just disappeared because of all the trees. Um, I guess we can go ahead and just use the electronic collar and try to call these in. They're about 150 to 200 meters out. So if there is indeed a male, we will be able to call it in and get it. It does look like all these moves are just female. So we're going to go ahead and take one down. And this one is right here in front of us. So let's go for her. Normally I wouldn't bother with them since they are just females. But since they're right here, we might as well get one. She's going to go go aggressive there, but immediately go down. I had to step away from the game for just a little bit, and in that time, we had a level 2 female lynx that came in, 15 to 17 for her estimate, so she's in her resting zone there. We're going to see if we can get her attention with the electronic collar, get her to kind of turn around and give us a shot, hopefully with the bow. And there she goes. Almost immediately, she is going to be traveling. Sometimes it takes them a little bit longer than that, but no, she is ready to come over here. So let's get the bow ready. We'll put in the 420 grains and hopefully we can get her here. Now lynx are a much smaller target than like a moose, so it can definitely go wrong in many ways. But right now she is exactly at 50 meters out. My electronic collar is at about 45 meters. So we'll wait for her to stop walking there and then we'll take the shot. And there she goes. She is finally stopped. So 47 meters is the official distance. Let's take that and dropped her on the spot. Just did a beautiful shot on her. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump down and pick up everything that we have so far, and then I'm gonna set the time to a little bit later in the day. But I just wanna make sure we get everything in case the game ends up crashing or something. That way we don't lose out on everything. So we have four whitetail, five geese, two mountain hares, one capercaillie, one moose, and one lynx. Quite a few animals there in just a short period of time. So here's the moose. Not going to have a trophy rating because she is a female, so just a zero there. But got her in the left lung, the heart, and the right lung at 18 meters. So we actually got the heart there. I thought it was going to be a little bit higher, like into the spinal cord, but no, it was a heart shot. Just barely clipping it there, so that is why she dropped. We've got a couple of geese here. This one's level 2 female, silver, 5.73. Got her in the flesh at 31 meters. This one was also a level 2 female, I think, or this was a level 3 male. He's a gold, 6.84, and got him in the stomach. We've got one of the white tail here, so I think this one had the best estimates out of all of them. He's a gold, 210.17, and got him there in the middle neck, actually. That was a pretty lucky shot, but got him at 38 meters, and middle neck is vital, so I will take it. And then over here, we've got our Lynx. When we got vital blood on it, I was a bit concerned maybe it was a little high, but it's a bronze, 17.62, right lung and the left lung, so just double lung there, and that's what dropped it at 48 meters. And then we got some more blood here. These are going to be for these two white tail. They are all three just side by side here. So we'll start with this one on the left. And it is going to be level two silver, 176.09. Got it in the right lung. That was at 44 meters. And then we have this one, level two silver, 166.55. Got it in the left scapula and left lung at 48 meters. And then we have this third one, level two silver, 153.57 and got it in the right lung at 46 meters. Kind of cool they were all just lined up like that. Now over here I think we have one goose and then we need to swing around, pick up those other geese and then get back over there and get that caper Kaylee and mountain hare. But this one's a level one female bronze, 419 flesh at 85 meters and that was one we hit at, in the neck there as she was about to take off. These are the last two Canada geese. So this one's a silver level two female, 5.06. Got her in the lower neck, so both these were level 2s. She's a silver, 4.80, and got her in the right humerus. And then right over here somewhere is that mountain hare. And there she is right there. So she had the, or she was a level 2, I think. I was going to say, she had the same estimates as a level 1. I don't remember. But let's get her picked up, and she will be a gold at 4.41. Got her there in the flesh at 97 meters. And then we should just have that last mountain hair and that caper Kaylin. Now I think that's it. And then we'll get back in the stand. Like I said, I'm going to reset the time just a little bit later in the day and see what else kind of comes through. Here's the caper Kaylee. We actually shot him twice. He's a gold 4.38 left ulna and then the left tibia there. We didn't need to shoot him twice, but I just went ahead and did it to drop him as quick as possible. 
And then finally we have this last mountain here, level 1 male, silver 3.54, and got him in the liver. So yeah, now let's go ahead and reset the time. It is currently 11.34, so I think I'll set it to like 1500 or something like that. Of course, as soon as I get ready to reset the time, I got a mating call from a hazel growl, so I got back in the stand, and there she is, level 2 female, 349 to 379. But there's actually another one right here. This one's a level 1, 293 to 323. She just now came in like I just spotted her. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get both of these really quickly. So we'll take her. The other one is probably gonna go alert. She's actually gonna be defensive. So we'll take it right there. Hazel grouse are one of the bird species that you don't have to shoot in the air. So getting it on the ground there, it's still gonna give us a score. So she's a bronze, 320.66. This is the level one and got her in the lumbar, lumbar vertebrae. And then let's go ahead and get the level two over here. And as long as nothing else comes through, I will go ahead and reset the time. So let's take a look at this one, and she'll be a silver as well, 370.98, and got her there in the left lung. The first animals over here since I reset the time are some white tails. So we've got a female right here, and then there's a male right behind her. So this guy's a 123 to 164. I don't know if there's any others with them, but since they're coming in close and the wind is absolutely terrible, we're going to go ahead and take him down. I'm honestly kind of surprised, I was going to say I'm surprised he hasn't went like attentive and alert yet, but there he goes. So we'll take that and yep, going to drop him. Now I just heard a moose somewhere as well. I know there was a female that passed by just right over there, so maybe it was her. But it didn't pop up an indicator, like a vocalization, that they were anywhere close to me, so we won't worry about her. We've got a level 1 female mountain hare, 3 to 4 for her estimates. So we will take her, and then I guess we have another one right there because I did not even see it and until you just saw the fleeing call there. So it's a level one male, three for his estimate. And I also just heard a black grouse somewhere. Um, so I guess let's get our binoculars out and see if maybe we can find it. I thought it was over here to my right, that's what it sounded like. But I don't know if we'll be able to spot it, especially after shooting the 22 twice. More than likely, if it was anywhere close, it's going to end up fleeing. And I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually raining outside. I hope that doesn't pick up on the mic. Um, but let's see. I still hear it. Is it flying around? It does sound like... Yeah, there it goes right there. So it is landing, looks like. And I just pulled out the wrong thing. I meant to get the 22. But it landed in. There might actually be multiple of them there. That's a level 3, 112 to 122. Holy, there's a diamond black grouse. Well, I guess it could potentially troll, but I have never seen a level 3 troll. Wow, that just kind of came out of nowhere. We'll go ahead and take him down for sure. And like I said, I don't know if there was any others. He might have just been the only one. It looked like there might have been two, though. And speaking of black grouse, there is another one right over there. It is going to be fleeing. So I'm going to jump down really quickly and grab that level 3 just to make sure that we get him picked up and everything in case the game decides to crash. I don't want to miss out on a potential diamond. But yeah, let's go ahead and get a look at this guy. Like I said, level 3s, I have never seen one troll and I don't think this guy will, but diamond is 120. He's only 2 points above on his top end. Let's find out. And he will in fact be a diamond. 121.54. So got him in the pelvis. 74 meters, 74.74 74 meters away. Let's get this guy taxed. And there we go. This is actually the first diamond that I've got on one of these tree stand hunts. That is pretty cool when they just kind of come to you like that and you don't even know they're on the map. A lot of mountain hares go through here. There's another one, level two female, three to four for her estimates. So is she behind that white tree right there? I think she is. So we're going to have to wait on her to start moving again. There are some tundra bean geese right here. There's a level 3, 2 for his estimates. We might as well go ahead and try and get him. We'll take that and it will be good. There are some others. Level 1, 1 to 2 for his estimates. He is super small. But I want to focus on the mountain hare now. So we'll take that. Miss the shot. Hopefully get a second shot in. And we did. Dropped her. Feeding over there is a level 2 Western Caper Kaylee. 3 to 4 for his estimates. So we'll take him there. There really hasn't been a lot of animals that have come through since I reset the time. Of course, we got that diamond, which was really cool. But other than that, we have the white tail, and then I think the two mountain hares, maybe three. I think, yeah, it was two on this go around. We have the tundra bingus, and then, of course, the caper Kaylee now. So I'm going to hunt for a little while longer. It is currently 1834. Probably go to, like, 2030 or something like that just to give it another two hours. We'll see what else shows up, and if nothing does, we'll pick everything else up and kind of wrap things up. Okay, so I've hung around for the last two hours in game and haven't seen anything else come through. So we're just going to go ahead and get down here and pick up everything that we do have. Like I said, it should be one white tail, then we have the two mountain hares, 
Gabriel Kaylee, and the Tundra Bean Goose. So here's the Whitetail. He's a silver, level 2, 161.15, left lung and the right lung, 21 meters, and that is why he dropped. And sounds like we have something right over there. It is a moose that is going to be fleeing. So is it just a female or there's some males with her? Um, I do not know. There's a very good chance it could be that same group of females that came in earlier on in the beginning of the video. But I'm just going to go ahead and not worry about them. Let's get the electronic collar picked up so I don't forget it. This is one of those mountain hares. It is a level 1 male, silver, 3.21. Got him to the left humerus at 65 meters. And there's some white tail giving off warning calls. Here's the Caper Kaylee. He's a gold, level 2, 4.13. Got him in the left lung at 97 meters. And then we have, I think, this other mountain hare right up here on the hill. I might as well switch to the night vision binoculars so we can see a little bit better. And there she is. This was a level 2. And then we'll have to swing all the way back around over there to get that Tundra Bean Goose. And I think there was a third mountain here because we shot one right over there by the Tundra Bean Goose. I remember now. So this one's a silver, or this was a level 1 silver, 3.62 female and got her in the right humerus. That other one was a level 2. So yeah, I just got them all mixed up there. I thought there was three, then I thought there was two. Now I know, I know for sure that there is three. So let's go get these other two animals. Here's the mountain hare, and it is going to be a level 2 female. Gold, 4.49, got her right there in the flesh at 152 meters. Almost missed her there, just caught her in the foot. So something weird has happened here. I cannot find this Tundra Bean Goose. I've looked all around this general area where we had shot him, even got the dog out here to see if maybe he could find him, and nope, he is just nowhere to be found. I went back and even looked at my recording to see like what the distance was and everything to see if he dropped on the spot. He did, and it was at 150 to 200 meters, so that he was nowhere near like out of render distance. I do not know what happened. He is just gone, but this also happened on Hirschfeld when we did the tree stand hunt. Now that was actually a very far shot, like 350 meters, 400 meters, almost out of render distance. So I can understand if that one like just despawned, but this guy, I don't know what happened, but that's going to do it here for the video. If he's glitched out and I can't find him, there's no reason to stick around over here, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. We were able to get a diamond out of this hunt, which was absolutely insane. Did not see that coming, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.